Hello everyone, my name is Kat and I'm a registered dental hygienist and student at SPC College. This video aimed to help understanding on how to utilize ultrasonic scaler the right and simple way. So what you're gonna do is you're going to use your ultrasonic scaler and practice starting from up down to that a white line like channeling practice your size of your channeling and then the amount of pressure you should use uh, with your ultrasonic will adjust barely take off that white layer of wax so when you use it you will notice you don't need to apply tons of pressure So here is a close-up look. Here's my candle. Here's my ultrasonic tip. And we're gonna start channeling. As you can see, there is a little bit of a pressure involved. I would say it's like a feather light. But look how much time I'm spending to go to channel it. I'm not rushing. So some mistakes that I noticed from students and from those who just started using ultrasonic or magnetostrictive scalers is that they go in very fast like that. So this is the first mistake. And I want you to see the effect of it. So they go in like that, right? So yeah, you're removing maybe something, but look how much you're missing, right? And another thing what I noticed that students or first time users, they apply way too much pressure as they use hand scaling instruments, which is wrong because the magnetostrictive or power-driven instruments are designed to ease the job for you and help with agronomics because we're looking at the long term preserving our hands right and uh, that is why we want to adjust that mind of ours shift it if you will from using our hand scaling or what how much pressure we would use in order to remove calculus and the pressure needed when we use ultrasonic or power driven scalers I hope this video was educational for you yet hopefully it helped you to understand on how to utilize ultrasonic scalers in a simple easy and right way thank you for watching and see you next time